Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Today I will be discussing with you hygroscopic setting expansion which takes place in gypsum products. Now this is a diagram in front of you which is from Philips Science of Dental Materials and it's their 12th edition. In this diagram you can see on the top row uh, which is marked with green and black color is the normal setting expansion of gypsum products. We know there are two gypsum products, dental plaster and dental stone. And what happens is that you mix the powder with the water and then a mixture is formed. Now what happens when you leave this mixture as it is without immersing it into any liquid, into any water, normal setting expansion takes place. In black are shown the nuclei and in green is shown the water of the mixture itself. What happens with the passage of time as the material sets? Crystals of dihydrate start growing from the nuclei. And as they are growing, as they begin to form from the nuclei, the water around the particles is reduced because of hydration. As these crystals grow, they are using up the water of the mixture. And you can see that there comes a time when the growth of these crystals is reduced, is inhibited. Why? Because of the surface tension uh, between the water molecules, which inhibits further growth of uh, these crystals of dihydrate. So this is some amount of expansion which takes place as the crystals are growing. And then the, at the end of the stage, the crystals are simply intermingling into each other because the space is very limited. You can see the expansion has occurred, but now since the space is very limited, the crystals have intermeshed and entangled with each other and further growth of crystals is inhibited because of the water tension. Now the water has been reduced. In case of hygroscopic set expansion, number one, you have to keep this in mind that this occurs when you place the mixture of gypsum product when it is in its initial setting stage. This is the first important point. So you have to place the mixture which is at its initial setting stage into water. You have to immerse this mixture into water not when the material is set or not when the material has already set but when it's in, in, it's in its initial setting stages. So you immerse that mixture into water and now what happens, let me explain to you this diagram. These orange are the nuclei it's already clear from the above picture. These are the nuclei from which the crystals would grow. This dotted area is same as this green area, which is the water of the mixture itself. And this circle, and this circle, which is outside this dotted area, is the water, is representing the water in which the mixture is immersed. Now what happens with the passage of time as the, as the crystals of dihydrate grow from these nuclei, definitely they are consuming the water of the mixture as happens in the normal setting conditions. But you see that when, they're, when, they're, when they've started to use up the water of the mixture, the water from the surrounding is enough to replenish this decrease in the water from the mixture. Hence, hence the crystals have a free space to easily grow and increase in size and this leads to expansion more expansion of the gypsum product as compared to their normal setting conditions and this expansion this added expansion which happens in the gypsum products when they are immersed in water is called hygroscopic setting expansion you see there is not much intermingling of crystals as it was in the case of normal setting conditions normal setting expansion why because as the crystals are growing and they are using the water of the mixture, more water is being added from the surroundings in which this whole mixture is immersed. Hence, the crystals can freely grow. There is not much intermingling. And in turn, there is more expansion compared to the normal setting conditions. So this expansion is known as hygroscopic setting expansion. Okay, another important point is that this hygroscopic setting expansion is not occurring because of any added chemical reaction it's simply a physical phenomena the water that's been used 
is replenished by the water in which it's uh, emerged and it's simply a physical formula a physical phenomena it's not any added chemical reaction that's occurring in hygroscopic setting expansion so this has to be kept in mind this screenshot is taken from restorative dental materials by Craig. This shows the normal values of setting expansions, not the hygroscopic setting expansion, but the normal values of normal setting expansion. Uh, dental plaster, it undergoes a normal setting expansion of 0 0.2 to 0.3%. A low to moderate strength dental stone expands for about 0.15 to 0.25% high strength dental stone which is high strength low expansion this expands for 0.08% to 0.1% and the setting expansion of high strength high expansion dental stone which is the type 5 it ranges from 0.1 to 0.2 so looking at these percentages this means that dental plasters show shows the most expansion setting expansion which is 0.2 to 0.3 percent then low to moderate dental stone which is type 3 dental stone that shows 0 0.15 to 0 0.25 another important uh, line that's mentioned in Phillips science of dental materials under the heading of hygroscopic setting expansion is this the hygroscopic expansion uh, obtained during the setting of dental plaster stone is about twice that of the normal setting expansion. So the value of hygroscopic setting expansion is twice that of the normal setting expansion. And what is the use of this hygroscopic expansion? Where would you use this added benefit of an extra expansion? This added expansion by the method of hygroscopic setting expansion is used in case of gypsum borrowed investment materials which are used to fabricate cast gold alloys what happens is that when you know that cast metal shrinks upon cooling so this shrinkage is compensated by some expansions of the investment materials and hygroscopic setting expansion is one of the ways of compensating the casting shrinkage i hope this lecture cleared your concepts about what hygroscopic set expansion is compared to what is normal setting expansion in gypsum products subscribe to this channel for more videos jazakallah khair thank you so much